Hello guys, Evans here once more and uh, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to continue uh, looking at the February, uh, rather the May June 2017 IGCSE ICT um, paper 2 1. In the last video, we ended on step number two, and in this video, we're going to resume uh, with step number three. Okay, so step number three says create the following um, paragraph styles, um, and then this is the house style specification that we have, and um, so we are going to create um, um, these tiles based on these attributes that are listed here. And these are some of the properties of um, some of these tiles like font styles, uh, font size, and alignment, enhancement, line spacing, and the like. Okay, so let's go ahead and open our file that we've been working with. And um, we're going to go to um, create a style. Um, I like to put my cursor at just either at the end of this fi file so that it doesn't affect the text that I'll be working on. Or just at the beginning of the file, it doesn't matter, but uh, make sure that um, um, it doesn't just affect the entire text that you're working on. Okay, so the style, the first style that we're going to work is TSS title. Okay, so TSS um, title, then modify it, and then let's look at some of the attributes of um, this style. Okay. Um, so the first one is that it's supposed to be a serif font, it's supposed to be 24, um, center aligned, it's supposed to be bold and all capital, um, it's supposed to be line, um, single line spacing, um, space before zero and space after 11 points. Okay, so let's go ahead and just do that. Okay, so this one is going to be a serif font, so Times New Roman is a serif font and I'll leave it at that, but the font size will change it to 24 and it is supposed to be center aligned and um, other than that there was um, supposed to be bold and then it's supposed to be single line spacing this is line spacing which is single um, you can also change it from here so go to paragraph and then make sure that the line spacing is single and space after is supposed to be 11 points okay so other than that um, we needed to make sure that um, this text is purely capital okay so go to font and um, make it um, all caps okay okay that should be fine next we're going to uh, look at another style TSS subtitle so let me just copy the name of this style to do some time um, create a style and then um, paste it there, modify, then this style should be based on normal and um, it is a serif font, 16 points, um, uh, right aligned italic, it is a single uh, line spacing at 0 points um, um, space before and 0 points space after. So let's go ahead and just do that. Okay. So it's supposed to be right aligned and it's supposed to be 16 points and also it's supposed to be um, a serif font so I'll pick it up from Arial and it's supposed to be they say it's supposed to be italic and the rest of the stuff um, let's just verify it's supposed to be single line spacing no space before no space after okay so this should be this should be fine okay so say OK and OK. Next, we're going to build um, for TSS subheading. Okay. So TSS subheading, I'll copy that. It's a serif font, 14 points, center aligned, and supposed to be italic and underlined. Um, it's supposed to be single space uh, line spacing, um, zero point space before, and 11 points space after. Okay, so let's go ahead and create just that. So go to um, create style, and the name is TSS subhead. Uh, modify it, and then I'm going to build it based on normal. Um, what happens when you build based on normal? It means um, um, you don't have um, like if you build it based on title, it is going to inherit the properties of title, okay, which we don't want. So when you build it based on normal or no style it doesn't inherit um, the properties of the previous um, style okay so we build it based on um, normal okay 
uh, let me just cancel this and come back here and paste it there and modify and build it based on normal okay that should be fine now let's go ahead through uh, let's go through the properties time new romance is a sans serif font and um, I'll select um, the font was supposed to be 14 if I'm not mistaken let me just confirm the font is 14 center italic underline single 011 okay so then it's supposed to be center aligned then it is supposed to be italic and it's supposed to be underlined and then let's check for space before and space after so space after is supposed to be 11 points and um, it's supposed to be single space and uh, single line spacing and then it's supposed to be um, a zero point um, spacing before okay so that should be fine and um, you can also verify some of the properties based down here if they match what you've been told okay so that should be fine next we're going to build um, the tag uh, the style for body so let me just copy body now body is sans serif font and it is 11 points and then it is justified no enhancement and then line spacing single space before zero and space after 11 okay so let's go ahead and just do that okay so the name paste it there and then um, it is going to be built based on single uh, rather normal style and then it is a sans serif font so I'll leave it at Arial now um, for the sake of those guys that may be struggling to know uh, between sans serif font and um, a serif font um, I'll just say for the sake of time that uh, if you want a sans serif font pick up Times New Roman rather pick up um, if you want a serif font pick up Times New Roman and if you want a sans serif font um, pick up a font like Arial okay so these two fonts um, Arial is a sans serif font and Times New Roman is a serif font so you, um, in the other videos I've explained the difference between the two but I won't take time to start explaining that um, but um, I've just given you an idea of what you can do um, if you want a quick understanding of what these two are okay so so it's supposed to be 11 points and um, it's supposed to be justified and um, there's no enhancement so that, sh that should be fine and um, single spacing um, let's just go back here no uh, single line spacing there is no space before and we should have 11 points space after so that should be the case okay so okay and okay and lastly we're supposed to look at the TSS table I'll, co I'll copy this sensor font 11 points left aligned um, uh, enhancement nine single zero 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 so this one is the easier one okay uh, okay so create style paste the name there and it's going to be built based on normal and um, supposed to be alignment left so I'll leave it as it is and then no enhancement that's fine and um, 11 points okay and then um, for single spacing um, that should be fine zero space before zero space after that should be perfectly fine as well so we are done with um, all the styles and um, the next thing that we're just going to do is to get um, um, evidence document uh, rather into the evidence document we need to get screenshots to show that we have submitted the setting uh, the settings for subhead title only okay so what you need to do is to go back here and open the sub head title which is this one and modify it now the sub head title this window is enough to show um, the examiner that you've applied the properties that you need to apply um, um, and the part in question is this part actually gives an explanation to what you are doing okay but I like to include other windows that we did especially the paragraph window this window just to make sure that um, um, the the, the single space is showed here and um, the space after and space before is also um, shown okay so I'll get a screenshot of this and copy it I'll say okay and paste it just um, okay just give me a moment I almost closed my document <laughs> 
Okay, so let's let's paste it here. Okay, that looks good. Um, next step, we need to. Okay, so next step will be step number four, and I'm going to do step number four um, in the next video um, because of time. I want to keep these videos as short as possible, and um, so I'll do step number four in the next video. So thank you so much for watching this um, section of this video, and uh, remember to subscribe and like and share, and I'll see you shortly in the next video.